What is going on guys and welcome to a informative tutorial on how to create a team in NHL 17 and how to import that team into a franchise mode or a season mode. So obviously the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click the customization option on the main menu and go into create a team. Now we are going to create a fresh team starting from scratch with a blank canvas here. So this one we are going to be calling ourselves the cheeseburgers just because why not? Uh, but there is so many customization options here. You can pretty much do whatever you want in create a team. It's really cool this year. They implemented a whole bunch of things. We're going to be the Czech Republic cheeseburgers because why not? That sounds like a fantastic name. You can choose from a ton of names and a ton of play-by-play uh, -play names as well. Uh, I think each individual letter has like 20 or 30 different uh, names you can call your team. So we're going to go ahead and call us the Mighty Ducks and we're going to actually name our arena Big Mac Place again because why not? Now your market size, all that stuff is going to be involved in the franchise mode you can do that however you'd like and now for your individual logo you can choose from the NHL logos you can choose from the retro logos just because we're the cheeseburgers obviously it makes sense we're gonna pick a cheeseburger for our logo now I did my best at trying to create the nicest looking cheeseburger I have pretty much zero artistic skills but I think that looks pretty much uh, the color of a cheeseburger but once you go ahead and you make your primary logo you can choose a secondary logo and that's gonna go on your left and your right shoulder so why not go with a C obviously for cheeseburgers now you got your cool logo now it's time to create a jersey for your newfound franchise I believe there's 30 different jerseys that you can choose from which is pretty cool all different styles I chose this kind of alternate Ottawa Senators look and now you can see the C's are now on our left and our right shoulders looking really nice now again I have zero artistic ability there's tons of other people out there that can create some unbelievable looking sweaters but just for me, I'm not the most artistic person, so this is kind of what I came up with. There's all different colors you can choose from, from your shoulders, to your pants, to your socks, to your gloves. It's really, really in-depth. Now, this is just what I came up with in like under 10 minutes. It's kind of a goofy logo and a goofy sweater, but it's what I came up with in a short period of time. You can obviously go way more in-depth with your alternate jerseys and your away jerseys and all that good stuff. You can do your, your helmet, your socks, your pants. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Now, if you are a creative person, in the arena customization is going to be for you. You're going to get lost here for hours. Uh, you can pretty much do anything to an arena. You can make it completely your own. You can choose from a bunch of different stadiums and you could again do whatever you want. You can create the wall colors. I didn't go too crazy into this because I'm not that artistic but I have done it in the past and before you know it an hour and a half has gone by and you got a really cool looking arena. Uh, you, again you can choose different scoreboards. You can choose uh, different seat colors and I think the seat colors is a really cool feature uh, because obviously we are the cheeseburgers so why not go with that yellow cheese looks awful but I think it's great uh, you can choose from the uh, from the lip color on your uh, on your boards you can pretty much again do whatever you want it's actually ridiculous the amount of things that you can come up with uh, you can choose how the center ice looks I'm gonna go with the double cheeseburger look who doesn't love a good double cheeseburger and that's pretty much the arena that I came up with you can go with uh, the scoreboard smoke you can have flames coming out of your uh, scoreboard you can even customize your spotlight on your goaltender which is pretty unique another cool thing is the goal horns you can have a listen to a few of them Now for the Czech Republic cheeseburgers, I am going to choose the Buffalo Sabres goal horn. Personally, it's my favorite in the NHL. I think it sounds awesome. So once you're done creating your amazing looking arena, you can go ahead and uh, have a look at it there in the free range camera. Now with your team, you want to put some players on it. You want to make a roster. Now you can choose any player you want within the game. Uh, you can go to the WHL, you can go to the Dell League, any Swedish league. You can go to NHL teams. You can pretty much put whoever you want on your team. And once you have 
have a completed team and you want to put them into a franchise mode, you can see there we are 71 overall with Ryan Getzlaff as our best player. Now you can make your roster as unique and creative as you like. I just threw a bunch of random players in there just for the sake of the video, but I get a ton of questions on how to put a custom team or custom teams into a franchise mode and have a custom franchise mode. Well, it's actually really easy. You just got to create a fresh franchise mode, find the team that you want to substitute and just click X or square on, on the PlayStation 4. It's really, really easy. It's literally one button and you have a custom franchise mode. Now you could get crazy and you could create 30 different teams and substitute all those teams into the NHL and you could have a crazy customized franchise mode if you really want to. I'm sure that would take a ton of time, but it can be done. It is worth noting that whatever team you substitute your custom team for, you are going to have all of their prospects and their AHL affiliate team, uh, whatever players were not playing on the specific NHL team. So we took out the Carolina Hurricanes. Now we have all their prospects, Alex Nijelkovic, uh, we have Jake Bean, Keegan Lowe, all the players that were not playing on the specific franchise that you substituted. Also, this does work for season mode. If you want to go ahead and just do a one year sim with your created team, you can do that as well. It's also worth noting that if you want to go into playoff mode and try to win the cup with your created team, uh, the game does not allow you to do that. Again, I'm not sure why, but just worth noting, you cannot put it into a playoff mode. You can put it into season and franchise mode, but not a playoff mode. So I hope this helped a few people. I get a lot of comments asking, how do I do it? And it's really, really simple. Literally, it's just one button. You click X and you have a custom franchise mode with your team that you created in the customization mode in NHL 17. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, hope this helped a few people. Let me know if you guys have created any crazy teams. You can tweet me if you'd like. Show me your creative designs and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope this helped.